What's beneficial for players is to rock heavy into their toes and heels. So we're going to see Noah rock heavy into his toes and heels, rock heavy uh, into your left side, then into your right side. So we're seeing the white dot, which represents the center of pressure. We're seeing how that moves from side to side, from toe to heel. Uh, go ahead and pull that golf ball closer to you there, pal. And Noah, go ahead and hit a golf shot there for us whenever you're ready. So we'll notice he'll finally get kind of settled into his feet. And then when he's ready, he's going to go ahead and make a golf swing. So when we're ready to actually record a swing, let's go ahead and have you do one more there, pal. All I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the record button, but we're going to uh, change the frames per second to 120 frames per second. And then we're going to hit this record button, and then the player basically has a good 30 seconds to hit the shot. So you're good whenever you're ready there. So a lot of the times, this type of technology is going to help us with the understanding of ground reaction forces, how they use the ground to create energy and efficiency in their golf swing. So this automatically goes to a scrubbed video. Uh, generally, a lot of the times we'll look at uh, trimming the file so it's not as bulky, but uh, we do notice in this case for this particular player, uh, if we're looking at the right foot, which is his lead side closest to the target, that's his trail side. Uh, basically, we're looking at a player who is heavier into the heel on the right side, heavier into the toe on the left side as the club moves back. He basically transitions his pressure and we'll see his pressure moves into his trail side, which is shifting pressure slightly left, favoring the heel certainly. And then as he transitions back down into impact, he's transitioning down into impact and he's basically allowing himself to transition pressure straight to his right, straight to his lead side. But there is a little spike and we can see a couple little uh, tendencies and I'm gonna go back to a couple of these screens later on but for the most part we'll see some toe pressure which stalls and slows down the body and then he's got to speed it up or catch up or resync his club with his body so again this is just uh, breaking body track down it's kind of body track 101 how to set it up for our staff but more importantly you know what we're trying to gain from this type of a tool and piece of technology.